had with flux in the past. Here, here we've got some bunnies. I think they're soft bodies. Maybe not, they're rigid here. Uh, along with some other rigid bodies being mixed with fluids. Uh, they're interacting with each other. You can see there's buoyancy. Um, the, the objects are floating based on what their relative density is. And we can actually move the objects around and that affects the water. Having this two-way kind of interaction is something uh, previously unheard of. Uh, the, the way that this is possible is by representing everything as, as the same. Everything is represented as a set of particles. Can we switch to particle view? Uh, this one? Yeah, E. Or try it, E and B. Sorry. E and B. B. E. E. Press E. There we go. Um, the whole world is essentially made up of these uniform, uniformly sized little particles. Um, and every particle has constraints on it. So for the rigid bodies, the constraints are that they have to keep their shape. Uh, for, for the fluids, the constraints um, follow the, the rules of fluid dynamics. But everything is simulated with each other as one big pile of particles, uh, allowing us to do all of this phenomenon at the same time. Uh, so. This is really exciting stuff. Um, you'll be seeing it in some games moving forward. What we've added recently is viscosity. So it's a new kind of constraint uh, that uh, we previous, previously didn't have for our fluids. We've got our beloved bunny over here. And we're going to, we're going to cover it with some stuff. You can see the fluid uh, behaves viscous, which means it's sort of sticky-like, where the fluid molecules want to stick to each other. And we can increase the amount of viscosity. So let's go, I believe that was the low. You can see what it looks like medium, and it becomes more foamy feeling. And that's a very high viscous type of fluid. Uh, I think People can imagine all kinds of uses for this in various games. Uh, let's, let's show the natural extension to this, which is adhesion. So previously, when we threw liquids against objects, uh, it would just kind of run off. But now, now we could actually have it stick to the walls. So we've got ectoplasm over here. We could do a proper Ghostbusters game. You can show the particle view again. You can see it's all the same stuff. You can switch back. And in a real game, you might want to use it on some sort of character. You can show them the goo gun. I think everybody's wanted, wanted to do that to that armadillo model. 